the Storm Track Weather Center with Storm Track Chief Meteorologist Mark Prater tracking not only Hurricane Matthew, but you guys are also dealing with the drought situations for us here. So a lot going on. There really is, and there's just not any relief. We could use some of the rain for Matthew. Unfortunately, it's just not going to happen. And so because they keep them separate? I mean, the, the hurricane keeps it dry here? Yeah, it pulls all the moisture in from around it. So we get robbed of any chances of rain, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and show you a little video of what's going on, especially right there in the Savannah area as well as Jacksonville. A lot of folks prepping for a major hurricane, which is still making its way into the Bahama Islands as we speak. But it does look like that region is going to be just, uh, I mean, it, they'll be prepared, but certainly if the storm continues with the intensity that is forecasted right now, well, there's going to be a lot of damage there in Tybee Island. All right, let's go out to this live shot. This is what's happening right now from our EarthCam video in Fort Lauderdale. The wind's really starting to pick up, and this storm is still at least a couple hundred miles away, but it is so powerful, it is actually affecting all of the air around the whole storm system, which is now actually in uh, just about to make it into the Grand Bahama Island. Now let's talk about what is going on with this system. It is a powerful one. We're looking at a Category 3, and going out to our graphics, you'll see that uh, that storm that we've been talking about for the past couple of days and will for the next couple of days is starting to reorganize and regenerate. So, as it does, that means it will likely start to strengthen. Latest, we have winds at 115 miles per hour, moving northwest at 10, so it will pass through Nassau and the Bahamas, then right up the east coast of Florida as a Category 4. Now we're talking this is bigger than what Katrina was when it made its way on shore. Katrina was a 3 when it hit the shore. So if this holds true, there could be just catastrophic damage up the coastline of Florida if it makes a direct hit. Here's the only good thing, though, is that storm system, it's developed in the northeast quadrant is the worst part. So hopefully that will stay just off of the shore. But either way, we're looking at a pretty confident weather track. And this shows that the storm is going to move right up the coast. And then after that, all bets are off. The models are going everywhere. As we look at the rain across Alabama, or at least the lack of rain across Alabama, all of it is down across Florida, and that's where it will stay in the Bahamas. They're going to be dealing with that for the next couple of days. We just won't get any rain out of this. It looks like the dry pattern carries right into the first and middle of next week. Temperatures throughout the day tomorrow headed back into the mid and upper 80s for highs. Plenty of sunshine, lack of cloud cover, and then by tomorrow night we might start to get a few of the high clouds that spray off of a system like this. But even then, it may be a little too early to get much in the way of cloud cover from the storm. 84 tomorrow if you're headed out to high school football and after kickoff, it gets cooler. Temperatures dropping down into the 60s with clear skies. Both Auburn and Alabama out of state this weekend. So if you're headed to the Auburn game in Starkville, temperatures will eventually hit the upper 70s. Near 80, but it will be a comfortable day with plenty of sunshine. Bama kicks off against Arkansas at 6 o'clock, so tailgating, temperatures in the mid-70s, plenty of sun. If you're headed over towards uh, Fayetteville, travel should be fine. There aren't going to be any problems, no rain, maybe a couple of showers in Fayetteville uh, as we go into tomorrow night, but that's about it. Otherwise, plenty of sunshine to start your morning. Look at these temperatures. We've got numbers into the mid-70s by 11, only around 80 by lunch. And it is going to be a hot day tomorrow, but then temperatures start to cool off. A new batch of dry air moves in. This will be a dry front, thanks to Matthew pulling all of our moisture away. Temperatures get back into the mid-70s for highs, lots of sunshine, lows into the upper 40s and low 50s. Columbus Day looks fantastic. If you have the day off, try to get out and enjoy because it is going to feel just like fall. But unfortunately, 